Hello everyone, welcome to Score High. In our current affairs analysis series, today we will be discussing the topic The State of the Education Report for t India 2019 for Children with Disabilities. This report was released recently by UNESCO and we will be discussing it in depth. This report will be useful for various essays on education or problems faced by children with disabilities in the education sector. So let's see this topic. So the report that is the state of the education report for India 2019 children with disabilities was launched at an event organized by UNESCO in New Delhi and it was attended by more than 200 representatives from various fields. This report will be published annually but the, and the 2019 edition of the report is first of its kind. It highlights, this report highlights accomplishments and challenges with regards to right to education of children with disabilities. Now, it was prepared by Tata Institute of Social Sciences, that is TIS, and commissioned by UNESCO. Now, findings of the report. Based on extensive res research of national and international documents of reference, the report provides comprehensive and detailed information on present state of education of children with disabilities and submits 10 key suggestions to policy makers. Now, citing 2011 census data, the report has showed that more than seven, 78 lakh children with disabilities in India between age group of 5 to 19 years, that there are more than 78 lakh of children with disabilities in India. Now, of the 27 percent of these children with disabilities between 5 to 19 years of age have never attended any education, educational institution. Now, this is the state of, our, of education in our country where there are 78 lakh children with disabilities and of them 27 percent have not attended any educational institution. Now, nearly 75 percent of 5 year olds who have certain disabilities do not go to any educational institution and in schools there are fewer girls with disabilities than boys. The situation of the girls with disabilities is very bad. Now the proportion of children with disabilities who are out of school is higher than overall proportion of out of school children at the national level. Just remember this point that the proportion of children with disabilities who are out of school it is higher than the overall proportion of out of school children at the national level. Now this report states about the home based education that in many parts of rural India if a parent opts for home based education the child may not be getting an education at all. If the parent opts for home based education the child may not be getting an education at all and it, it often exists only on paper for children with disabilities. Now there are various challenges, first is inadequate allocation, delays in releasing fund and under utilization of allocation. These are the key challenges in financing education for children with disabilities. First inadequate allocation, second delays in releasing fund and third under utilization of allocation. Now there are differences which is noted among various types of disabilities. Now, only 20% of children with impairments related to visual and hearing had never been in school. However, among children with multiple disabilities or mental illness, that figure rose to more than 50%. But this report has given, has stated various recommendations. Now, which are to amend the Right to Education Act 2009 to better align it with the Right of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016 by including specific concerns of education of such children. Need to remember these recommendations, you can quote it in your essays and also in your answers. Now, to strengthen data on children with disabilities, to st the strength strengthening of data system, it will make robust and reliable and also it will also be useful for planning for the children with disabilities. Second, specific and adequate financial allocation in education budgets 
to meet the learning needs of children with disabilities. Okay. Expand the use of information technology. Chance to every child be given and no child should be left with, with no child with disability should be left behind. Next, transform the teaching practices to aid the inclusion of diverse learners. This is important that we need to transform the teaching practices so that diverse learners are included into the system. Next, concentrated camp concentrated campaigns and large scale awareness campaign should be conducted. Coordinate all education programs for children with disabilities o across departments. And the last is to overcome stereotypes. As still children who are who have disabilities, people look towards them as if they have a problem, but they can overcome that. One of the best example of this is Ira Singhe. She is an IAS officer who secured first rank in spite of her disabilities. So she is an example. She is an example we can always remember. Now, further measures are needed to ensure quality education for every child to achieve the goals and targets of Agenda 2030 and more specifically Sustainable Development Goal 4. So you need to align your targets with the Sustainable Development Goal 4. So this is all for this topic. For various other current, uh, current affairs updates, you can visit our website that is www.scorehigh.com or you can even follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is score underscore high. So that's all for today. We'll be meeting again with a new topic. Thank you so much.